what if I don't like to hang? I'm here, Alden. Oh, you don't want to? Wait, you want me to boil the water? Something I think you can do. Oh my god. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Wait, Daddy okay. is trying to cook again. Mommy, why are you cooking? Again? Oh, I love cooking for you, Alden. What is it? I, don't touch. touch. Sorry, just, no, 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 don't touch. Go there. You could have done it on that plan. Is that going to burn? I hope not. <laughs> Did you say boom or burn? Yo, mommy, Joan is crying. What did you do to her? You did something bad to her again? No. Are you sure? No. So why is she crying? Why is she crying? Why is she going? Don't touch her then! Dangerous. It's fire. This afternoon's recipe is about as simple Mom, as mommy, you can get. So mommy, what is your... Mommy, is crying. Don't let her cry. So she did something to her again. Pasta with yes, tomato, tuna, and basil sauce. So what is your ingredients? Ground pork, no, again. Oh, tuna. Tuna. Uh, tuna <laughs> flakes. Tender <laughs> fine. San Marino tuna flakes, corn tuna, tomatoes, tomatoes dal, and Fresh garlic. Garlic. And what else? What's that? Uh, basil. Basil. Yeah. Pasta, of course, yeah. which is going to be cooking in. Pasta. The... Where is it? Maybe someone already had. Really. And salt and pepper to taste, but don't worry. I've already put some into the mixture. This is super quick. Super quick. Well, very easy. Not much washing. What is this? And a good dish for one person if you're on your own having to cook. That's me. Ganado siya magluto. May time na luto siya ng luto. <laughs> Guro, namimiss niyang kumain ng mga pagkain niya. Sige, ito na nakain siya na siyang artist sa pagkain. Where's the cooking? Oh, it's not started yet. There's a packet of pasta you can get out and then you can get it. Well, yung water. Why did it change blue? That's the color of the gas when it burns. It means that the, there's no bits of food or oil or anything else on there that are turning. The oh, what? You just put ever. Well, then, Mommy, put more for ya. Let me just check that this is tasty. Yes, 
Turn the wall to fire. Let me go get the pass. Goodbye. You might want to back or two. Let's do it with one because I can always add pass to it. But I can't take the salt. Hello. Hello. Star magic. Any pass that will do. Any pass that will do. This is what makes these dishes so great. The amount of washing up is next to nothing. Take a while to boil. Cooking time. Remember that when you cook pasta, it continues to cook even after you. Loud boys. Nine minutes. Ago. Remember when you cook pasta. Even when you take it off the cooker, it continues effectively to cook because of the heat. And that is why, when you bite it, the little white line, which is the uncooked pasta on the inside, should just, just, be dis just have disappeared or just be disappearing. And that is when you drain your pasta, because it continues to cook. And if you cook it until it's already cooked, by the time you serve it, it's going to be soft and soggy, and we are not making sopan. What is it? Sopas. We are not so making sopas. Sorry. <laughs> so Sorry. We are not making sopan. So we want our pasta to be just cooked. So there you are. Simple ingredient. Cook the pasta. Actually, I'm doing it the other way around. Which is really cool. Aww. First, drain the pasta, keep a cup of pasta water. Hey, Mom. Then we will be cooking the garlic in olive oil. We will be adding the tomatoes and cooking it for about five minutes until the tomatoes are nice and soft. Get down there, and then. Soft and kind of pulpy. Then we will add the tuna for a minute or two to warm it through. Then we will put the pasta back in and we will add the basil leaves, mix it, stir it up, and serve it. No wonder everyone's fat when I'm cooking. Yeah. Or is it that everyone's fat like because you eat fat? fat Look you at cook. your tummy, too fat. This, this is solid muscle. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I was about to show you, but unfortunately I have to carry on cooking. Ha ha ha. There's nothing to show. So, a About nine minutes. This take. And if you want to time it, you can, but when seven minutes is up, you should start to look at it and see how it's going. Cook with wooden, nice wooden spatula. If you don't stay your pasta a little, it will stick to the bottom of the pot. So give it a nice little stir. Turn the heat down to medium. Medium is probably a bit high on this. Let's turn it down to low. Low, na yan? Low. Is that the low one? That says low, yes. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so the point about that is it's just to get it because with the lid on it will boil over very fast. We don't want it to boil over. Daddy, you need to just. Why are you not? It's best, what? I would advise you not to stand okay. in the kitchen. And then get up there. This is a small space. And you really don't want to be having problems here. That's supposed to be low, but it's actually what we would call a beggar's coil. Nope. 
That's a vigorous boil. Sometimes these burners are different sizes, but that's And then I know bad. So this has got another. I'm done. Let's go. I need to ask one of the cooks something. Can I, can I want this chair out of the way, please? White spots on the inside. Those white spots on the bits which are not cooked. Yeah. It's blurry. Right, right. Ma'am? This needs two more minutes. Little useless tips. When you're draining the pasta, I leave the tap running because obviously you're pouring boiling water in here and I don't really want the sink to bloom. time you think oh it's golden it will have probably gone black. So you can let it simmer away there gently. Having fun. I'm pleased to say I got some rather nice tomatoes today. As these are all going to be Boy! Ano? Boy! Masakapera ita ko yun eh. So, by now our garlic is well and truly. <laughs> so we got our tomatoes. And as you know, tomatoes are mainly water. Yeah. A lot of people would use tin tomatoes, but what you should see is, and it's a really it's pretty because I'm going to use a bit of the pasta. Tomatoes are water, but the tricky bit is tuna oil, and you'll end up with tomatoes that are kind of burnt. Too much oil. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave that for five minutes, all right? And the reason for leaving that for five minutes is so that it can, the tomatoes, I want them to kind of soften up quite a lot. So if my calculations are correct, you should be able to come back in a couple of minutes and that will soften up. In fact, it doesn't really matter. Um, depends on your taste, how soft you like the tomatoes. This should really, this is why tin tomatoes will already effectively be softened so you can pull on a little time. This lot, if you leave this for five minutes, checking it every couple of minutes, should come down to the consistency I want. So I'll leave this for five minutes, check it every minute or two to make sure <laughs> that it's bubbling away nicely, and it's bubbling away nicely, but it's not burning. Let me put the plate back. <laughs> so, if you 
It's not even there. It's already too late. Can't stay here. And we'll just. This is going to go back in anyway, but if you don't move your pasta a bit, you have a tendency to stick together. So, as we can see, the tomatoes are cooked down quite nicely into a pulp. That's our tomato sauce. Now we have the tuna. This is corned tuna, tuna flakes, whatever you like. It ought to be tuna for the taste of the tuna. Okay. Wash it out as we're going along. Mix in the tuna. That's how the mixture is kind of picking up, thickening up ever so slightly. I'm going to add my pepper at this stage. Some people would, some people wouldn't. Some cracked pepper. A little extra taste. No salt here because the salt is in the pasta. And remember the rules. You can always cook. Oh. <laughs> you can always cook and add the salt later. So there we are. We're so far so good. Now I just have to get some of the pasta back in. Like this. So that it doesn't go all over the you can already hear it kind of bubbling away on the knife because it's not very happy. Pasta tends to increase in size when you cook it, so it's always best to probably use a little less. And this is thickening up, so we add a little bit of the water that we put the pasta in. around and then the final ingredient some freshly picked basil from the garden about half a cup shredded we can turn this off now because the heat We'll continue to cook this and then being the good cook that I am, I can finish washing up. <laughs> Everything is washed up. <laughs> and then I just have to serve. So taking care not to do what I normally do, which is drop it everywhere. I'm going to use a spoon today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Spoon it out. As I said before, remember it will continue. You can see that despite the liquid, once you put the pasta back in, it really oh, takes hi. the water out. Mm. And then, as we say in England, waste not one drop. There we are. Now, if that doesn't smell good and look good, other than myself, of course. I Red. don't know what I don't know what does. Wow. Don't fall off now, please. <laughs> A few moments later. Dang. It's ready to serve. Pasta with tuna tomatoes and basil. Pasta? Pasta with tuna, with tuna, tomatoes, tomatoes, and basil, and basil with o olive oil. Pasta, potato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato.
not ever. Sorry, that's my halo behind me. Yummy, oi! Aww! You'll probably want to answer all the What is that thou old man? Pasta with tuna, tomato, and basil. <laughs> with oh. olive oil. Well, you'll probably want salt or pepper. <laughs> if you want pepper, <laughs> that's the black pepper. A new one. Are you, would you, like? Are you going to eat some? No? Later, wait. Angela, I don't you probably Hello guys, masarap siya. Ayan. Pero dahil mahilig ako sa salt, nilagyan ko siya ng salt. Pero tasty na siya. Well, maybe chef is fine. Or such one potato. I might do the Sichuan potatoes as a side dish, just for a while. Tomorrow what? It's either going to be Shepherd's Pie or Sichuan potatoes. So, magluluto pa daw siya bukas, guys. The Sichuan potatoes are the side dish. It's very <laughs> spicy. It makes your tongue all furry. A bit like your tongue probably is anyway. Sarap? Let's go.